Hello and welcome to my first video for 2023. I am going to be doing my So Haley Jane unboxing for the month of January. So if you want to see what I've got in my classic box subscription, then please stay tuned. <music> Okay, so I haven't actually opened this. Normally, if you watch, you'll know that I open the box beforehand and then I review the box, basically. So this is really different for me. I'm actually going to unbox live. So first thing I need to go is this lovely little slip with So Haley Jane off of the box so that I can actually see what's inside. And I do love that she's done that because obviously... As I think other people mentioned now, because it's a nice plain box, you can reuse it for anything. So let's see what we've got. It's quite a heavy box, I have to say. So I'm quite excited to see what is in here. And I got my box relatively quickly because I think she only posted it a couple of days ago. So as you know, have I opened it upside down? <laughs> so first error I've opened it upside down so just bear with me while I turn it the right way up <laughs> see I told you first time I was unboxing it so it comes obviously as you're all aware by now if you've seen anybody's unboxings all lovely and wrapped in yellow tissue paper and the first thing you see when you open it will be the magazine and that will tell you the theme for this month so I think Hayley said she'd gone for a sort of different uh, sort of take on the themes because obviously she's been going for a few years and her plan was to do one word and to base a sort of theme around that. And I love, I always love the illustrations, but this is so cute. The theme this month is rest, which I think we all need <laughs> as much as possible. I certainly do after being very ill over Christmas. Um, gosh, it's number 50, so issue 50, so been going a while now. I only go through the magazine briefly, and obviously because I've just opened it, I'm going to probably have to cut and edit because I'll be reading it, and you don't want to sit there watching me read through. But if you do want to see the magazine in more detail, this is just to give you an idea of what will be in each month. So she has teamed up with Rooted, who I love their fabrics. Do check them out. By the way, if you've not watched me before, I always pop links in my description to everything that I talk about and websites, etc. will all be in there for you to go and check out. Rooted to put a gorgeous viscose in the luxury box. And then the Classic and Mini have got a Pointel cotton jersey. Oh, I'm excited. I have got a couple of Pointels and I love them. So as I say, the theme is rest. She's got an interview with Ginger Doodles which quite often means they might have something inside the box. So I will have a look. It talks about uh, her screen printing and how she got started, etc. So I'll have a good read of that afterwards. Again, I'll put Ginger Doodle's website in the description. Maker of the month. And this month it is... Don't know how to pronounce this. I'm so, so sorry. Is it Kita? Uh, it's Q-U-I-T-A. And she's made a gorgeous honey blouse by Fibre Mood in the tartan, which I've yet to make anything with. So she's got that there. And then there's a little interview with her. I apologise. My lunch is beeping that it's ready. So I'm going to have to pause and come back to you. That was my vegetable soup. It's such a yucky day. I love to make nice warming soups. I don't know about you. But anyway, I digress. I apologise. So, yes, interview there with the maker of the month and her gorgeous blouse. Then um, Hayley has put in some resolutions and it's saying if you want to look into your sewing skills for 2023, then she's got five patterns, which she recommends you trying. She's got some gorgeous trousers by Closet Core called the Mitchell Trousers. There's a classic shirt by Lee's & Co. There's the Hovia jacket by Megan Nilsson. There's another coat called the... Ormond designer coat from Style Arc, and there's a dress from Victory Patterns called the Sophia dress. Hopefully I'll have popped photos in, but they look very interesting. I think I might have one or two of those patterns. Then we've got the three boxes three ways. Obviously I won't show you the mini or the classic because they are my fabric, uh, but I will show you the gorgeous viscose that Rooted put in for the luxury, and Gemma made the Nina Lee 
Carmel jumpsuit and it's absolutely stunning. Hopefully that's coming up. If not, I will pop in photos, but that's just gorgeous. That fabric looks lovely. And then we have got our lovely Tamlin who does the fat quarter projects. And of course, if you don't know her, she is sewn on the tine and now part of the trio that are the Northern Soul Sisters. Again, all of the links down in the description for you. She has made a book sleeve and a bookmark, which I don't know if you can see. I actually made a few of those if you've watched one of my previous videos and they are really great little make. Great scrap buster and brilliant for fat quarters. So Tamlin's done another brilliant job of taking photos and talking through each step by step. It appears that the pattern in the luxury was from Merchant and Mills because we have got a little bit from them and there is a discount code for us. So I might take a sneaky peek at their, their website. Maker's Gallery is nearer the front. That's unusual. Okay, I think Maker's Gallery always used to be near the back. But we've got photos of projects that have been made previously from people using the So Haley Jane fabrics. And I am chuffed to see our lovely Adele from Sofa Serenity. She got the Cobra Corsage, which I absolutely love, and made this gorgeous version of the Wilder gown. If that doesn't come up, I'll put it in a photo. So that's lovely. And it's nice to see you in here, Adele. And then there is the profile of a subscriber. And this month there's a lady called Sam. And she is Sam's Sewing 74 on Instagram. Again, I'll pop it in the description. She's also used the tartan, but she made a lovely dress with hers. She's fabulous. And she's talking all about her experience of having had the classic box. Pattern picks from the fold line. And this month they include a robe, some tank and briefs so some underwear and some comfy tea and pants so it's all about i think comfort around the house haley has got her little links which is a book i haven't actually heard of this month i think called the paris apartment and her videos on her channel and an embossed diary and then the cool midwife which uh is on bbc and netflix and then lastly there's always in the back there is what's in the box and a space for writing in projects and notions, etc., needed, all in the back so you know everything you've got in the box. So dive into the goodies. I'm really pleased to see one of my favourite snacks. And now that I'm back on Simming World, I'll have to double check. I think there are about two and a half sins on Simming World. But anyway, I should be eating it and sending it gorgeous Lotus Biscoffs. I love those. And because there's only one, no sharing this month. It's going to be scoffed by me <laughs> and then she's decided to put it alongside because people often say i think when she put tea in once or twice before that you had to have a biscuit with it which i think is lovely and the tea is called peace which goes really nicely with the theme rest and it is by pucker and it's an organic tea so i might well have to have that with my biscuit i think this item and i will have to double check i'm going to check my list of contents is probably the one from the um ginger doodles and it is a bookmark and i'm just trying to find it just says bookmark so i'm guessing it's probably by ginger doodles really lovely i love a good bookmark so this one's got a really nice illustration of someone resting on their chair there so that will come in handy then there's also the um, sewing accessory is these needle threaders by Hemline Gold, which are absolutely gorgeous. And getting to the age I am, my eyesight's not great. So uh, these will be very handy <laughs> when trying to thread that needle. Fat Quarters this month, absolutely lovely colours again. And going with the rest theme, I think they're based around sort of plants and things. And you've got this gorgeous, I'm going to open them all up and then just chuck them on the floor. So my room's going to be a mess after this. Gorgeous green one with the plants all over it. Then there's this one with text of uh, things like home sweet home and home is where the heart is and all sorts of lovely little sayings and plants on a white background there. Love the circles on this one. Gorgeous colours. And that is this here. And then finally, one with just really lovely images of cosy around the house, plants, cats, kettles, 
all sorts and on a sort of pale blue background there. So just a recap, if you get the mini box, you get three fat quarters. I get the classic, so you get four and the luxury, you get five. As I always do, I'll pop Haley's website down below. I will also pop in my code, which I'll put at the end of this video, which would get you 10% off your first box. You can then go and check all them out for yourself. Then you have the matching thread for your fabric, and it is in this gorgeous kind of mustard colour, and it's a Guterman thread as always. And finally, the star of the box, the fabric. So we have two and a half metres, as usual, of this really gorgeous point owl, and it's got animal print on it. Look at that. So point owl, if you're not sure, hopefully this will show, has got these sort of um, little dotted bits in them. I remember them growing up as being <laughs> my granny's thermal underwear. Is that just me? Does anyone remember that? You used to get vests and sort of legging things. And they were always made of these, but they were always like a nude or a beigey colour or white. But these days you can get point out with all sorts of gorgeous designs on. And this one has this lovely animal print. Now, I'm not 100% convinced that this is my colourway. So I don't know if this is the only colour. Um, if it is, I may de-stash if it doesn't suit me because I would love someone to get use out of it if I'm not going to. I'm just checking if they have. And it doesn't say if there's more than one colourway, so I guess I'll wait and see about other people's unboxings. I will take a look back and see on this shot to whether this suits me or not. I do absolutely love the fabric, but like I say, I'm not quite sure it's in my colour palette. We will see. But I have this pointel type fabric in like a blue that I'm planning to make a cardigan and I think because you've got two and a half meters you can make so many different things with this it's a stretch and you could make a nice fitted top you can make a cardigan in fact if you wanted to make a loungewear that would be awesome as with the rest you could lounge around with a cup of tea drinking the tea bag you got eating your biscuit Jobs are good in. <laughs> so what do you think of this month? I love a point out. As I say, we'll have to wait and see about the colour. I do hope that you have enjoyed seeing all my goodies. Apologies that there will probably be lots of editing because I did this one the minute I got my box. I just was dying to record for you. And so I thought I would pop it up straight away. Might be why I look a mess because I've just come in from the rain. So apologies for that. But that's the box for January in the classic. Please do give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. And if you watch my channel but are not yet subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you could hit that subscribe. And every little subscribe helps get me seen. Every little like helps get me seen. I've got a big goal this year of hoping to reach 5,000 subscribers. So if we can start the month off January with a few new subscribers, that would be awesome. So until the next video, take care and I will see you all soon.